Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor website design course video series. In the previous video, I have shown you how you can create the header section for your website using the Elementor theme builder. Now in this video, we are going to create the footer section for the website. So let's go to the dashboard of the website, go to templates and click on theme builder. We are using Elementor Pro plugin. This is the header template that we created in the previous video. Now in the left hand panel, you will see footer, click on footer. Currently, we do not have any footer template created. So we are going to create a new one. Click on add new footer. Again, you can use pre-designed templates to create the footer section or you can create it from the scratch. In the drop down, you will see that footer is already selected and these are the pre-designed templates for the footer section. If I click on it, you will see this is how it is going to look. Let's go to this one. And this is another template. All right. If you want to use these pre-designed templates, click on insert and you will need to connect your website with the Elementor account. So if you have Elementor Pro plugin, then you can connect your website with the Elementor account and use these templates. However, we are going to create it from the scratch. So let's close this one. This is the header section. Let's scroll down and you will see the section where we can create the footer. In the left hand panel, you will see the widgets that we can add in the footer section. Now let's click on the plus sign and click on Flexbox. Now these are different structures that you can use. In this example, I'm going to create four column section. So you will see four column section here. Click on four column section and we have four different columns here. Now click on the section and we are going to add some padding to the top and bottom. So click on it, go to advanced. Under advanced, you will see the option to add the margin as well as padding for this entire section. We have selected the section here and these are the settings for this section. So let's go to padding and unlink the values. We want to add padding for the top and the bottom only. So click on this unlink so that it will not apply the same number for all the paddings. Let's go to top section and add, let's say 60 pixel to the top and 60 pixel to the bottom. So you will see some padding is added. Here you will see a drop down from where you can select the unit. Currently it is set to pixel. So whatever you enter here will be measured in pixel. You can also use percentage, EM, REM, VW, or you can customize it. So I'm going to use pixel. For the top we have 60 pixel. For the bottom we have 60 pixel. Apart from that, you can also use motion effect. You will see scrolling effect is there, mouse effect is there. If you want to make this entire section sticky, then you can also use a sticky option here to the bottom or to the top. Select none. Then we have transform, a responsive, a responsive settings. If you do not want to show this entire section on let's say mobile device, then you can hide it from the mobile device. Now, these are the entrance animation. We will go through the animations later. All right. So let's go to the style settings and change the color of this entire section. Okay. So I'm going to use this color that we are using for the header section. And let's go to color picker. We have the hex code for this color. Copy that one. Click on it and add the code here. Now let's add this as a global color so that we don't need to enter the hex code every time we select this color. I'm going to change the style settings of the entire website later. I'll show you how you can use the global colors later in the next video. So I'm going to add this color as the global color. So click on the plus sign. Let's name it as blue color. Click on create. Now this color will be added here. For the entire section, we have this blue color. Click on the plus sign in the first column and we are going to use the logo in the first column. Okay, so let's search for image. If you want, you can also set up site logo and use that for the entire website. However, an image can also be used. So I'm going to use image, drag it and drop it in the first column. Click on this choose image. I already have one logo image uploaded. However, the background color is white. So I'm going to select another logo image. This one is a black. Drag it and drop it here. You can also create a PNG logo where you will have transparent background. In this case, I have created a simple logo using Canva and I have the black background around this 
I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm not going to create another logo with the transparent background. All right, so this is going to be the logo. These are the image resolutions, captions. You, if you want, you can add caption. And uh, this is the link. So I'm going to use custom URL. Click on dynamic tags and select site URL. So if someone clicks on it, it will go to the site URL. That means it will go to the home page of the website. Let's go to style settings of this logo and let's add some border radius for this logo. You will see the radius is added to this logo. Now these are the alignment. You can align it to the left, to the right or to the center. You can also change the width of the logo. Currently it is set to percentage. You can also set up maximum width and maximum height. Opacity can also be changed from here. And this is for the hover opacity. All right, now if I go to advanced, you will see the margin and padding settings as well as width, align, alignment, then size, position, Z index, motion effect. You can also have scrolling effect for this one, mouse effect or entrance animation. Now entrance animation, we will go through the entrance animations when we are going to create the home page for the website. At that time, I'll show you how to add the animation for different elements. All right, now below this logo, we are going to add text editor. So click on plus sign here and let's add text editor, drag it and drop it just below the logo. Now this is going to be a simple text about your company. I'm going to keep it as it is to the demo content. Go to style settings and change the color to the white so that it will look good for this blue background. Change the alignment to the center. You can also change the typography. You can change the size of the content and weight, transform, style settings. All right, this is about the content. Now in the second column, I want to add some quick links. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and let's add a heading here and name it as quick links quick links let's go to style settings and change the color to white we have already added this white color as the global color so we don't need to add the code manually each time we use it and let's change the html tag to h3 so this is going to be h3 now below that i want to add some quick links so click on the plus sign and search for icon list drag it and drop it here these are the items i want this icon so i'm going to delete other icons and the first item will be home so these are the pages on the website that i want to list in the footer all right now you can add item or you can simply duplicate this one and second will be let's say about us third one will be let's say services fourth one will be let's say contact Fifth one will be blog. All right, so we have five different links here. For the home, you can go to dynamic tags and select site URL so that it will go to the home page. For the about us, services, contact and blog, we do not have the pages created right now, so we are going to link them later. Okay, let's go to style settings. Let's add space between these icons. Then go to icon, change the color of the icon to let's say white. You can also change the size of the icon. Go to text, change the color of the text. Let's go to style settings and change the font size for the text. So these are the quick links. I want some services here. So I'm going to copy this heading. You can simply right click on that item, copy it. Now go to the second, third column right click and paste it so you will see the same heading here let's change it to let's change the title to services now i want to add some services just like this so i'm going to right click on it copy it go to this column paste it so we have the same structure here now we are just going to change the name of these headings name of these items let's say website design is the first service second service will be let's say seo third service will be 
digital marketing whatever services you are offering on your website you can add those services here all right i have added some demo services here now after that in the last column i want to add the contact details of the business so i'm going to copy this title paste it here if it has contact details or contact okay now let's copy this one paste it here and change the icon for the first one i want to add phone number so i'm going to add the dummy phone number here click on the icon search for phone icon insert it you will see the phone here then i want email so I enter the email address here change the icon that will be envelope insert it and after that i want address so i'm going to add some dummy address here all right i have added some dummy address here and let's click on the icon search for map icon select the icon insert it and below that i do not want these two items so i'm going to delete them now you can customize the style settings all right so we have four different columns here let's say under this column i want to add social icons so click on the plus sign here search for social icons drag it and drop it just below this one let's make it circle and let's align to the left then we can add the link to social media accounts here go to style settings if you want to keep the official colors you can keep the official colors or you can change it to some custom color let's make this one all right so this is going to be the color change the size the center align it all right so in the footer section we have these four columns if you want to change the width of the column you can select the column and you can change the width manually below that i want to add the copyright section so i'm going to click on the plus sign again select single column go to style settings change the color of the column let's use a black one and here i want to add let's say copyright text so i'm going to use heading drag it and drop it here central line it and let's make it paragraph and add the copyright text here all right now let's go to the advanced settings go to padding let's add some padding to the top and to the bottom go to style settings change the color to white or whatever color you want and change the weight to 400 all right so we have the copyright text at the bottom click on it and this is how your footer will look now again you can customize it you can add the elements according to your requirement in this example i have created four column footer and i have added quick link services contact details and the logo social media icons let's go to tablet view this is how it will look on the tablet let's go to mobile view and this is how it will look on the mobile devices now let's say i do not want to show this entire section on the mobile device let's say i do not want to show services on the mobile so what i can do i can simply click on the services column here so the entire column is selected let's go to advance scroll down and go to responsive and i do not want to show it on the mobile device so i'm going to hide it on the mobile device so it will be hidden on the mobile device if i click on it you will see that this is how it is going to look that section is entirely hidden no one will be able to see on the mobile device if i go to desktop you will see that it is available on the desktop services but if i go to mobile it is not there on the mobile device so this is how you can use the responsive settings to hide or show different elements or different sections on different devices once done you can click on publish then add the condition i want to show this on the entire website so i'm going to select entire site you will see a drop down archive or singular so you can show this footer section on 
archive or you can show this footer section on singular pages and post. However, I'm going to use it for the entire website. So I have it selected entire site, click on save and close. Right, so this footer section will be applied to all the pages of your website. Let's go to the home page. We have the header section. We do not have footer. This is the default footer. Now let's refresh it and you will see the new footer is there. So this is the header section and this is the footer section. Now in the next video, we are going to work on site settings. We will see how we can customize the global colors, global typography and other features under site settings. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.